agriculture, the business that puts food in our mouths, clothes on our backs, and a roof over our heads. He contributes more than $7 billion to the economy of Mississippi each year. This is the story of the largest general farm organization in the state, the one that leads, represents, and serves agriculture and has for more than 90 years. The Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation. After World War I ended, the nation was adjusting to a post-war economy at home and abroad. Labor unrest was widespread. The country's commerce was dominated by powerful railroad and banking interests. Farmers represented one-third of the nation's population on six and a half million farms. Horses were the primary source of farm power since electricity was almost non-existent in rural areas. Farm roads were terrible and often impassable. As a result, farmers were forced to market their products quickly, and because of this, they were at the mercy of the railroads, grain dealers, and meat packers. Farmers of the time had many concerns. Farm prices, collective bargaining, roads, improving health conditions, and bargaining equity with the railroads and the meat packers. This situation is what led farmers to believe that they could do more as a group than they could individually. The earliest of farm organizations began in the late 1800s. These groups were organized under a variety of names and philosophies, including the Grange, the Farmers Alliance, the Agriculture Wheel, and several more. The origin of Farm Bureau followed a different path. It grew out of the extension education movement occurring at land-grant colleges across the nation. Mississippi farmers were disappointed over certain failures of these early farm organizations. They were tired of talk and wanted action. Cooperative marketing had given them a taste of the new kind of action they desired. It put more money in their pockets. Local farm bureaus were begun at the county level and served as the organizational network needed to further the extension education efforts of the county agent. But as the farmers met, they realized the broader potential of the new organization. To better coordinate County Farm Bureau business activities, the statewide offices of the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation were opened in Jackson in August of 1922. From the humble beginning, Farm Bureau in Mississippi has blossomed into the premier general organization for agriculture. Well over 180,000 families have cast their lot with Farm Bureau believing as those early farmers did that there is strength in numbers. Since 1922, Farm Bureau has expanded its scope of services to include things important to its members. Today, less than 2% of the U.S. population is involved in production agriculture. Because of that, the public's understanding of farm life grows smaller with each generation. That's why Farm Bureau's legislative efforts are so important. Working through committees, Farm Bureau provides a structure for farmers and ranchers to work together at the county, state, and national level to establish policy to solve mutual production, marketing, legislative, and regulatory problems. Policies are developed in the counties and are then forwarded to the state level where these recommendations are analyzed and debated. The recommendations are then submitted to the State Resolutions Committee. This committee finalizes the recommendations before sending them to the delegate body at the state convention for inclusion in the Mississippi Farm Bureau Policy Book. This grassroots method of establishing policy has served Farm Bureau well. These policies are what guide the public policy staff in their work with elected officials. During the legislative sessions, regular reports on the status of agriculture bills affecting farm families are made available through the weekly newsletter, Capital Comments. Timely advice is usually given in these newsletters on action needed at a given time. The best legislative influence comes from informed, concerned farm families communicating their beliefs to their elected representatives. Through personal contact, letters, or emails, producers work together through Farm Bureau to accomplish common goals. Farm Bureau's Environmental Programs Department motivates and assists Farm Bureau leaders on issues confronting agriculture. Many of these issues have far-reaching implications in this environmentally conscious world in which we live 
Environmental groups are very vocal and have extensive funds at their fingertips. Farm Bureau must be prepared to meet these challenges. Each county should have an active environmental committee so that the avenue to resolve environmental problems is smooth and uncluttered. The Member Services Department provides a variety of programs and economic services designed to add value to the member's dues. News releases and letters to the editor are sent from the Public Relations Department to media outlets across Mississippi. A 30-minute TV show is also produced and broadcast on the RFD TV network. This show highlights Mississippi agriculture for the viewing audience and lets them know the benefits provided to them by the farmers of this state. Informational and training videos are produced to be used by Farm Bureau staff for training and educational purposes. The Public Relations Department also maintains the company's website where up-to-date information can be found about what's going on in agriculture and the Farm Bureau Federation. Farm Bureau women are active members in the total Farm Bureau program. They are involved in commodity promotion, special women's activities, and leadership development programs. They also sponsor the Farm Bureau Ambassador Contest. This program is designed to enlighten and inform the public whose interest in agriculture as a career is alive and productive. The ambassador makes selected appearances on behalf of agriculture and the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation. Ag in the Classroom is also run through the Women's Department. The purpose of Ag in the Classroom programs is to stress the importance of agriculture to children so that they will grow up to be knowledgeable about where their food comes from. It's also an effort to put agriculture in the forefront of these impressionable young minds. Ag in the Classroom is available statewide. Booklets, handouts, posters, and teacher's guides are just a phone call away. Farming is one of the most dangerous occupations in the nation. Because of this, Farm Bureau provides safety education classes to help county farm bureaus educate and promote safe living habits. Tractor and shop safety, farm safety surveys, and ATV safety are offered to make members aware of these dangers on the farm. Other courses available include chainsaw safety and fire safety, plus the ever popular youth safety seminar held each summer. This annual program shows young people the basics of several different areas of safety education and does it in a relaxed atmosphere mixed in with lots of recreation. One of the most requested programs is Fatal Vision. This program presents the dangers of driving while under the influence of alcohol and drugs. The dangers of texting and driving are also highlighted as students try to drive through an obstacle course while texting on their phone. All safety programs can be adapted to any audience, whether it be a club, church, or civic organization, and are presented by the professional safety educators from the Farm Bureau Safety Department. Planned training activities are scheduled throughout the year in the areas of personal and professional development for the volunteer leadership, county Farm Bureau secretaries, new agents, and the Farm Bureau staff. These training sessions are available for individual county Farm Bureaus or as a part of a statewide leadership conference. Mississippi Farm Country is published four times a year and is sent to all Farm Bureau families. It serves as the official link between the Federation and the County Farm Bureau members. A leadership newsletter is also published and is mailed to county leadership across the state. Brochures, handbooks, and other specialty layout work are produced by the Public Relations Department. The Young Farmers and Ranchers program is designed to increase awareness of younger members 18 to 35 who share an interest in improving themselves and agriculture. This leadership development program encourages young people to strive for excellence and gives them the tools they need to be Farm Bureau leaders. Each year a discussion meet is held to give these members the chance to sharpen their discussion skills while educating them on issues facing agriculture today. The Young Farmer Achievement Award is given each year in recognition of young farmers' high achievement in agricultural production, management, and leadership. The YF&R Excellence in Ag Award recognizes a young farmer whose primary source of income does not come from production agriculture. Regional managers serve as the liaison to the county farm bureaus for all of the programs and services Farm Bureau offers. The regional managers also direct membership activities and leadership development through conferences, conventions, programs, and services. To provide in-depth commodity information and policy development related to those issues, each regional manager also coordinates specific commodities. 
Being a member of Farm Bureau allows you to participate in many member benefit programs. One of the most popular is the insurance program. Property and casualty insurance coverage is offered to Farm Bureau members through two companies, Mississippi Farm Bureau Casualty Insurance Company and Southern Farm Bureau Casualty Insurance Company. Southern Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company offers life insurance, annuities, disability income, and health insurance products. Farm Bureau Insurance has an agency force of more than 300 professional insurance agents providing the best insurance products for the lowest possible cost. There are many other benefits that go along with being a member of Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau offers several scholarships to young people interested in furthering their education in agriculture. These scholarships are designed to provide opportunities to those students showing need for financial assistance as well as academic ability and leadership qualities. Farm Bureau members can receive a significant discount of up to $500 off eligible tractors and equipment from Case IH. A $500 rebate is available to members on select Ford cars and trucks. Members can save on tools, lighting fixtures, shop supplies, and many other items through Farm Bureau's affiliation with the Granger Corporation. Save 20% on any Choice Hotel or any Wyndham Hotel location with your Farm Bureau membership. These benefits, along with many, many others, are available only to members of Farm Bureau. Conditions have changed enormously since Farm Bureau was formed in 1922, but the need for an organization united for the common interest in agriculture is just as strong today. The Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation, leading, representing, and serving Mississippi agriculture.